if you were to compare all builds in the game with a basic set of normal rarity gear, this build would be the strongest. We're talking about Holy Trail Paladin and how strong it is now with Healing Hands. So alongside 1.0, Healing Hands required its own skill tree and within that skill tree, you can make it have a 100% chance to proc as a fire spell with good spell added effectiveness, I might add, on every melee hit. Now this only happens once per melee attack. So on multi-strike, for example, which is what we're using in the video, it's only gonna be that main hit that procs healing hands. But you can see when I lunge to an enemy as well, it's proc there. So it's once per melee skill activation. And that includes channeling skills. So like Warpath, only the first hit will actually proc healing hands. And then you can see in the build, we also utilize smite and we're auto smiting from multi-strike as well. So multi-strike is proccing smite and it's proccing healing hands. And holy trail, healing hands, once you turn it into a spell. And Smite have a couple tags in common. One, their elemental damage. Two, their spells. So if you scale a ton of flat spell damage, which in Paladin you have a ton of flat spell damage added while you're using a shield. And if you increase the amount of elemental damage you do, because Holy Trail is 50% fire, 50% lightning. So you can't just scale up fire, otherwise you're Holy Trail is going to kind of lag behind. And Holy Trail is also damage over time, while Smite and Healing Hands aren't damage over time. So there's only a couple overall affixes that really increase the damage of all three of those, which is elemental damage, spell damage, and that's it. So what you want to do is grab all the flat spell damage in the Paladin Tree. That's going to make all your damage go crazy. And then what you're also going to want to do is get as many percent increased elemental damages as possible and percent increased spell damages as possible. However, Holy Trail also scales off of healing effectiveness. Now that's from all healing effectiveness that you have on your character. Whereas Healing Hands scales off of healing effectiveness, but that healing effectiveness is only counted when it's from the Healing Hands tree specifically. It ends up being quite a lot, but not in comparison to Holy Trail. So there are three different ways that the build scales up really, really well. That's the global spell damage, it's also attack speed because then multi-strike is going to hit more often, proccing more smites and more healing hands. And it's also healing effectiveness as a third. If you focus on those three affixes, the build scales up nigh infinitely. And the best part about healing effectiveness is even though it doesn't scale the damage of healing hands and smite, it's still scaling the healing. Up. So your sustain is ridiculous. Just at level 62, 61, we, we're essentially at full health all the time. And because we use a shield and we're playing Paladin, our resistances are pretty much done. We have amazing armor. And because we're playing Paladin, our resistances are basically all capped without any gear besides poison res. But because poison is almost all damage over time and almost no hits within that damage type, we out sustain any poison. As long as you're attacking, as long as you're standing on the side of a holy trail, it's kind of ridiculous. So it covers its one weak point. And then we also use shield and we have access to all the different shield nodes and block effectiveness nodes throughout all the skill trees and throughout all the passive trees. It's just insane. You are taking basically no damage while you're playing this build, but you're also healing up any damage that you would take even if you were taking about 10 times more damage. And then your own damage is also insane and mostly scales off of your own sustain and your tank is super hot. It's just perfect. It's just a perfect build. All you need to scale this build is more movement speed and attack speed. But even that, I'm thinking you want to use shield charge instead of lunge now for multiple reasons and because you also have a ton of mana sustain. Now, if you're wondering what the uber endgame of this build would look like, it's probably mana scaling judgment and you take off Holy Trail so that all of your damage is fire damage specifically and you can focus all your affixes very much so on that. But that requires a ton of mana scaling because you can make judgment do more damage based off of the amount of mana you consume at a flat rate. So if you make it consume like a thousand mana, let's say, you're gonna do 1500% more multiplicative damage. Obviously, a scaling option like that is insane and much better as you get into the late game. However, I am in my early 60s. I don't have access to all the gear I would like to have access to. And so until I have a full set of judgment gear that scales up fire damage, fire penetration, elemental damage, and mana as much as possible in all the different ways you can do so, especially with the new added mana 
prefix on weapons until I get a full set of that kind of gear. This is the best setup you can do. So if you were wondering if there's an offensive not support only paladin, there are multiple and this is just the tip of the iceberg. I hope this opened up your eyes to the possibilities within the paladin mastery. So get out there and start playing some.